at those nasty shad side guts. Oh shit. Look at that. He's about to school me. I gotta stop him. Oh, look at this fish. He thinks he's a bass. He's jumping. Look at his face. Look at this beast. This is my favorite fishing gas station of all time. Selection on point. That is it. I'm trying to. All right. Have a good day. What is up, members? Hope you have an amazing day. Welcome to spring in the Midwest. We have strong, crazy strong winds out here. We're not gonna complain about it today. We're gonna use it to our advantage. Made a little day trip, about three and a half, four hours away from home. Uh, and today we're doing something we did last year and that is target giant catfish from the bank. I don't care where you're at in the Midwest or really anywhere in the country in the spring, you got strong south winds that are pushing those warm fronts in. And this might look like a muddy, blown out mess of a bank right here, but this is actually the perfect situation. We got a long, rocky slash clay secondary type point right here. We got waves crashing into it. We got a warm front coming in. Most importantly, we are on the north side of the creek, so the sun is hitting it up, warming it all day long, and that is the perfect time to get some catfish. We also picked up the best possible bait you can use for these things right here, shad sides. There's been a giant shad kill all over the country this year. This lake is no different. And that's what these catfish that are feeding up to go spawn are feeding on right now. Look at those nasty shad side guts. These guys are gonna get eight, I promise you that. Let me show you quick how I rigged everything up and then let's get to catch it. So I brought three rods because that's the maximum you can use per person per day. Uh, I got big giant eight dot circle hook, about a foot and a half, 25 pound fluorocarbon or 30 pound monofilament leader. And then about a one and a half to two ounce weight. I hope that's big enough. We might have to upsize as strong uh, as the wind's blowing in. And that's all on a, a big swivel that's like a Carolina rig. That way the catfish can eat it without feeling it. Main line is 65 pound braid. And of course, fishing on some heavy bait casting equipment. You don't need to go buy a special catfish rod. I promise you guys that. All right, moment of truth, guys. It's time to taste this. I'm just kidding. We're gonna let the catfish taste it. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing right there, guys. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What I found with the circle hook is you don't want too much covering this entire gap right here. That's the most important thing. And you want to use a bigger circle hook than you think you'll need. It's not like a bass fishing situation where it needs to fit the bait. No, you need a big old gap right there. Otherwise, you're going to have issues with hookups. And then, quite simply, we're gonna throw the sun bitch as far as we can get out there. Even though, I mean, it's stirred up, it's nice, the wind's and everything. I don't think we need to get out there too far. I mean, boom, that should be perfect. Let's create a pole holder and uh, hopefully start ripping. We need to get this drag loose enough so they can take the bait without feeling a weight or anything. But we need it tight enough that these waves aren't gonna make it pull out drag the entire time. Perfect. All right, let's rig the other two and get them out there as soon as possible. All right, so we have three rods lined up all the way across this point. I'm trying to cover as much water as possible. And like I said, you can have three rods out at a time in this state. Actually, the, the maximum rods you can have is two, but you can buy a third rod permit, which I did. So I'm glad that I did that. But we have a rod down there, a rod here, and a rod back there. And I forgot to mention, this is the exact spot where I caught my personal best blue last year. It was like 24, 25 pounds. And there's reports of 50 to 80 pounders in this lake. So that makes me very excited. Something else makes me excited I don't know if you guys can see up there, but there's pelicans in the water all along that bank right there and all along that bank right there. They'd probably be right here too, but they're probably spooked from me being here, but they're not out there because they like to swim. Those pelicans are there because giant shatter are dying off and blowing up on this bank right here. So I like where we're at. Time to catch some fish. Oh shit. We might have one guys. My rod was knocked over. I thought my rod was gone. I looked over and I saw nothing. Really, not on anymore. This rod was in that holder good too. So I really think that was a fish. And looks like we did the same thing over there too. They're coming through guys. Oh God, I'm almost completely, my drag is almost stripped. That was definitely a fish. I think he's on there still too. Yep, he's on there. Got 
Got him. Got him. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. Something big. We're hooked up. Oh, he's way out there. I almost lost my damn rod while I was going over to look at the one where I had a fish on. This is not a mega giant, but this is a good start. This is a good start, guys. I wonder if it was the same fish that ate both of them. Regardless, we need to create a better pole holder situation. Oh yeah, blue cat. Not a giant, but I'll take it. Come here, bud. This guy about got himself a new rod. <laughs> oh yeah. That's not a giant, probably a six pounder or so, but we've only been here for 20 minutes. Circle hook did the job. Wrong way, bud. Wrong way, bud. Go that way. There you go. All right. They're here. They're still here. But there's giants. We need a giant. And we apparently need better pole holders, too. I about lost two rods in no time. Oh, that one's got one, too. This one's got hooked up. He's on there. Tighten it up. And just reel into him. Ah, we had him for a second, lost him. That one was not nearly as big. The action is hot. Look at that, he's freaking chewing it down. Damn, all three poles just got bit. Hmm. Oh God, he's going with it. Look at him go with it. Oh my God, that's gotta be a big one. Oh, did he lose it? Oh my God. He might still be on. I just about got spooled. Holy shit, he was running with it. Damn it, he's not on anymore. Oh God, that was crazy. This pole was completely bent over. Okay, things are going crazy. Oh God. Got another one. still on there. There we go. We got him. Yes. Yes. Hooked up again. You bet. This one might be bigger. I can't tell. I think he just now figured out he's hooked. Loosen the drag a little bit. Oh yeah, another solid one. Another solid one. Another solid one. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Uh, you know, it's not a giant, giant catfish a sore. But I think we're gonna have to weed through some of these guys to get to old Megalodon. And I'm totally good with that. I like it to hold on. Especially this time of the year. It's tough to get, catch fish out there. Nice little four pounder or so. Love that, look at that color. Pretty, pretty guy. Hi, bud. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Look at this bait. This is the deal right here. Can't believe the pelicans missed this guy. Oh, he's still alive, he's just dying. Yeah, that's perfection right there. <laughs> Money. Trying to make some extra fresh cup bait right here. It's good to get the stuff from the bait shop, it's better to get this. Mm-hmm. That's the freshness. Oh, God. God, no. They keep pulling off. Keep getting bit. And they're swimming with it. And then they're just off. No, there's another one. I don't know if I need to lose my drag or what. Look at this pole getting pulled right now. Oh, my God. He's going with it. That's a better one. I got him. Got him. I got him. Whew. That son bitch was running. Oh yeah, this is definitely the best fish we cooked today by a lot. This one's actually pulling back. Come on. Come on, be a megalodon. I don't know why I keep saying megalodon. Oh yeah, I can see his tail. He's way out on the surface up there. We got waves crashing in. Look at this thing pulling. When I pulled up on the rod, he was dumping line. And I feel like that's happened to me. Like, 
six or seven times. All I've seen of this fish so far is his tail. And I just put on that new fresh shad that just washed up on the bank that we found. I'm really hoping that's gonna be the key. And so far we've had bites on every single pole since I put that in. This is definitely a better fish for sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this guy, look at this guy. I mean, it's nothing like what's swimming in here. I know there's 50s to 80s swimming, but we just got improved. You bet. How do you like that new shad, huh? How's it taste, mother Yeah, you like that, don't you, big girl? Not a giant, giant one, but finally one in the 10 to 12 pound range. Big head, kind of a smaller body, but I just put on that chunk of shad that washed up on the bank. The stuff from the bait shop is really, really good bait. The stuff that washed up on the bank is legit. Instant feedback. There she goes. That's an improvement. Okay. Okay. He's rolling with it. He's going with it. Has to be hooked. This fresh shad is making all the difference in the world. Oh yeah, he still got it. Oh Jesus, that's a giant. That's a giant. Oh man. That's a big one. Yeah, this is a different caliber of fish than we just caught even. He's way over here by the bank. Oh my God, I haven't been pulled on like that in a long time. We got a different size caliber fish here, guys. For reference, this is a 7.6 heavy rod. Obviously I want to land this fish, but I'm starting to get nervous that the other rods are going to get bit while I'm reeling this one in. Look at that. I have my drag set tight too. He's about to school me. I got to stop him. I got to stop him. I about lost all my line right there. This could be a real one. Oh no, he's in a brush pile. He's in a brush pile out there. Oh no. This fish is giant. And he's in a brush pile. Okay, I think he might be out now. I think he might be out. We gotta see this fish, guys. Nope, he's back in it again. There, now he's out. Now he's out. Okay, he's out. I had to tighten my drag so much to get him out of that. I do not want to let him go back that way again. Oh, this might be my biggest ever. Oh, he's in another one. No. I got to get this fish up and away from these piles. I did not know these piles were even here. So this guy went hunting for them. Oh. This is a giant, guys has to be. Finally got him by the bank here. I just need to take my time with him since there's no piles up here. The other like up to 20 pound ones I've caught has come straight to the surface. I haven't even seen this one and he's right here. He's just swimming back and forth right by us right here. What did we hook? Oh, it's giant. I didn't see him, but it's got to be a big one. Now I'm nervous about the rocks and about how weak my line is from rubbing against that brush pile. We're about to get our first look at him, guys. There's my weight. Oh, God. That gum big. One. That is a big girl. Oh, look at this fish. Look at this one. Just taking me to town. Got to get her tired. Come on, girl. We're going to let you go. Look at the freaking swell it's creating. I think that's the biggest catfish I've ever hooked. It's a freak. Oh, mama. Got one ripping line on my middle rod there. Just gonna have to let that slide for now so I can get this fish in. Oh, man. I'm going to get her. Don't spin. Don't spin. Yes! Yes! Look at this fish! Yes! Oh, my God. How big is that thing? 
How big is that catfish? Oh my God, look at that thing. So big. <coughs> oh my God. I can't believe we got it in. We got to go weigh this thing. Okay, we got to get this big girl on a scale. So glad I brought it, I almost didn't. I think it's gonna max it out. Oh my God, 41.4. Oh my God. Look at this fish. Freaking monster blue catfish. Get out there right now, guys. Get on those windblown sunny banks and go find some shad. Catch some shad eaters. Holy shit, let's get her back in the water. There she goes. Yes! Oh my god. Ooh. Oh god, look at this. Look at this hole going. I gotta reel this one in. I just wanted to tell you guys about that catfish, but they like the cut bait too much for me to stop. Oh. I'm out of breath from the last one. That's a little heater guy there. Woo! Yes! A little smaller in stature. I'd say the bite's on now. <laughs> that was so fun. Been a good day. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. He's got it still, too. He's going with it. He's going with it. Just gotta let him eat it. There he goes. There he goes. Time to stop him. Got him. Got him. I don't know how giant yet. That last one, I couldn't tell how big he was until he just went. He was kind of coming in, kind of going sideways, pressure, and then he took off and ripped line off. Did I lose him? Oh no, we lost him. God dang it. I thought we had a good hook in that one too. Oh shit. That looks like another big one. He's ripping line. Oh, he's going with it. Got him. Yeah, that's another big one. That's a big one. Oh no, he's gonna get near this. He's already up top. He's already up top. Oh God, that's a giant tail. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, he might be bigger than the last one. His tail just, oh my God. This fish is like on top of the water out there. You see that? This one might be bigger than the last one. Oh my God, look at his tail out of the water. I'm just waiting for him to make that run. I'm probably pulling on him way too hard, but I'm trying to keep him out of these damn brush piles that apparently the only the big ones want to get by. Oh God, this place is amazing. And this is the perfect conditions for it too. Oh God, it's bigger than the last one, I think. This one's fighting so much different. He thinks he's a bass. He's jumping. Look at his face. Look at his face. I think he's trying to pop that hook out. Oh my God, look at that beautiful thing. It's so big. So big, here he comes. Now he's trying to fight. Now he's trying to fight. He's about to beach himself. Oh man, he's so strong. He knows he was up by the bank and he did not like that. I don't know if he's bigger than the last one, but he's about the same. He's just rolling. Look at this one, he's bigger. He's bigger, he's fatter. Oh yeah. I got him beached. I got him beached. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at the head on this one. Nope, 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 don't do it. Don't turn. I'm trying not to get completely soaked here, but that's probably a bad idea. Oh my God. Look at this fish. 
Yep, he's bigger than the last one. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Oh. Look at that meat. What up, Gina? Look at this beast. Oh. Get off your couch, guys. Go get in the wind and get you one of these guys. I can't believe I got two monsters in one day. <laughs> this is incredible. Big ass blue catfish. Two, my two biggest of all time within a half hour. Oh God, I got a rod ripping over there. Get this back in the water. We got it, we got it. The big girl swam off and now we're hooked up again. Although this one feels a lot smaller. Oh, it was pulling though, like it was about to take my rod out of the rod holder. So I got that big one back in the water. Didn't even get a chance to wear, but looks similar to the last one. If not, I mean, probably a few pounds bigger, not a ton bigger. And now we're hooked up again walls fighting and it is a little guy but i'll take it this is my best day catfish in a long time all right things were going good and then we got the real shad and now it's getting nutty well that was downright ridiculous i went there hoping that the conditions were perfect for the catfishing with the south wind pushing that warm air on the bank and the wind was ripping it was blowing 40 to 60 even with some of the gusts uh and it was absolutely on fire if you have a lake with blue catfish especially but channels do it as well uh in the spring right now early early pre-spawn but get on those north banks the days when it's warmest and has the strongest wind especially if there's shad in your lake and throw some chunk bait out there and you can catch some freaks like that too my two biggest blue catfish in the same day within the same half an hour probably absolutely unbelievable if you guys want to see more catfishing videos please hit the thumbs up and comment down below and if you want people to learn more about catfishing or you think they need to know more and this will help them out then share this video too i'd love if you do that but um i wanted to do some more of that you guys just gotta let me know and i'll catch you guys very soon out of here peace